population graphs appear in many different shapes and sizes. We're going to take a look at the population pyramid today. So this is a population pyramid and it's arranged in sort of a left side versus right side and one of the main things that I want you to notice is that on the left most of these pyramids show the male population on the left. The colors may change but males are generally shown on the left and females are generally shown on the right. Okay. Um, and it's usually arranged as the x-axis is just the difference between the males and females and there might be different populations or percentages or there might be specifics and then the y-axis, the one that runs up and down, is arranged by age. So a quick glance at this generic population pyramid shows the relationship between the percentages of men and women as they progressively go in age. So if we were to look at this graph, and there's no particular like area with this, this could show a population of Washington State, or it could show a population of the world, or it could show a population of deer in the um, Ginford Pinchot National Forest, right? This is just a general overview of what the pyramid looks like. So this pyramid shows that at birth, you have about the same equal number of males and females, and then as those females and males get over, we see a decline, a decline in the population numbers. And that makes sense, right? Common knowledge. As we get older, we tend to die off. It's unfortunate, but it happens. What I think is interesting about this graph, though, is that you see, tend to see this equal distribution until you get up about here. And then you really notice that, hey, this pink bar seems to be a lot longer than the blue bar. So I began to think, I wonder why that is. Why do you think that is? Okay. And then you see it continue in that trend and it becomes very noticeable up here at the very top. Well, one of the reasons that you see the female side longer than the male side is because on average women tend to live longer than males. So this chart represents that, that at the end of the aging population you tend to have more female representation than male. So let's apply this concept of this graph to a specific one. This is a population pyramid, and it doesn't look quite like a pyramid anymore, of the San Juan County in Washington. And I got this off of Wikimedia, so it's an open education resource. So this shows this bottom percentage. So this is a percentage of the population, and then these are the actual ages. Notice in our other generic population pyramid, there was no percentages or numbers. It was just a visual representation. So as we're looking at these graphs, we want to know what information is given to us and what information would we like to see more. Okay, um, this shows that less than five years of age, right? Because remember, age goes on the y-axis, and then you have males on the left, they're in red this time, females on the right, they're in blue. It shows in this particular county, San Juan County, there is a little bit, almost 2% of the population is less than five years old. And that same thing about females, less than about 2%, just a little bit shy of 2% is 5 years old. So let's take a look at what the most percentage of the population is in San Juan County in Washington. And you look for the red and blue that is the widest. So I'm really quick glancing. Here I see this. I'm going to kind of bring my cursor down. And it looks to be about 5% of the population rages in the age group between 50 and 54 on the male side. Okay, so I'm drawing this kind of a straight line down, 5% male side. Let's look at the female side. Bring my line straight down, and it looks to be a little bit more. So about 5.5% of the population in San Juan County is 54, 50 to 54 years old for females. What is the percentage of population for the age group 
80 to 84 years old in the males and in the females. So I come up here on my age. I see 80 to 84. Here's my line. I'm kind of drawing it straight down. It's really hard with an eyeball to be able to draw a straight line here. Um, you could use a ruler, which would be a great piece of paper. Anything that provides straight edge will give you an idea. So 80 to 84, I'm bringing it down here, and it looks just to be a little bit beyond 1% of the population for males. Let's come to the females, and it ends up being right about here. That's almost 1.5%. So it kind of goes along with the theory that women tend to live longer than males. For the over 85, what do you think, as you're reading through this, what is the percentage of females over the age of 85 in San Juan County? I'll let you figure that one out on your own. Did you come up with an answer? Good. All right, so here's how I kind of evaluated this graph. I walked you through what I knew. I walked through my thought process. Now your assignment is to look at those two graphs provided and do the exact same thing. Walk through what you know, how you are interpreting the information, and record your voice. This can work on speaking and listening skills along with comprehension of graphic data. Have fun.